So to date, uh, we have two immunotherapy agents, FDA approved, and a second line uh, option for patients with hepatocellular carcinoma, nivolumab, and pembrolizumab based on accelerated FDA approval, based on promising results from phase two studies with both agents showing around or overall objective response rate of 20%. So currently, I think these two agents are still available. We can use them in our patients. We are still awaiting for the phase one uh, trial of nivolumab versus sorafenib, the Checkmate 459, to understand the role, up, the role in the upfront uh, setting. And now there's a lot of efforts ongoing with combining different IO agents, whether dual blockade of CTLA-4 and PDL one or combining IO agents with other TKIs like anti-VEGF therapy, bevacizumab, or other TKI as linvatinib or cabozantinib. Tomorrow in the poster session, there's a dual CTLA-4 PDL one combination of Ipinivo with an objective response rate uh, of around 31%. It's an it's a early phase uh, study. We have to see the final results to, to uh, better understand and see where to put this data. And there's many other upfront combination comparing also dual uh, immuno, Im immune checkpoint inhibitors compared to the standard option sorafenib. So these are all ongoing trials and at accrual. So I think the next few months and the year will, sh will, will give us a better understanding on the role of IO and HTC. But to date, we know that the average response rate is around 20% for single agent and somewhere around 30% when it's combined with different IO or a different TKI. So this is promising for our patients.